what's up guys welcome back to another video so previously I made a video called how to script flashing lights in Roblox and I'm gonna be remaking this video because the last video wasn't really well explained and now that I have more knowledge on how to make the lighting I can explain it to you guys better so the first thing you wanna do is grab any vehicle you want so in this case I have the 2012 Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ you could go with the Crown Victoria Ford Explorer and whatnot. So the next thing you want to do, search up any light bars. You can just search up light bar pack in the toolbox, and you know, see just like light bars, and it'll show like some light bars to have and whatnot. So once you have the vehicle and the light bars that you want, you want to put your light, you want to drag your light bar, put it onto your vehicle, line it up with the door crack, because that's how toy vehicles are. And you want to rescale it to fit perfectly. So I just want to make mine a little bit bigger. Put it down. Make sure it's t touching the surface because we don't want a floating light bar. And we just want to make this centered. Seems about good. Alright, so once you have your light bar on your vehicle, you want to click on your vehicle. And then you want to go down. So you click the arrow here go under body click that and then under body you want to click the plus and then you want to search up model so once you have your model it's going to show up around the bottom over here you want to rename that to light bar with a capital L so then you want to click on the light bar you just put on your vehicle and you want to hold right click and drag it up to to go under your light bar tab. So once you're under your light bar tab, you just want to let go of right click. And now the light bar will stick with the car. So the next thing you want to do is get some parts. So you click part up here under the home tab. Click part and you want to make that parts material neon because we want our lights to look bright and yeah. So then the two colors we're going to use are steel blue and we're going to use persimmon. So we're just going to make the light fit onto our light bar like so. So this, take your time on this part, make it look good. And you can put as many parts as you want in the light bar. I'm only going to do the straight line since I don't want the video to be too lengthy for you guys so it's just a quick and easy tutorial so once you have your first part click the anchor part under the home tab up here and you'll know it's anchored when it's highlighted in black so you want to press your move tool press control D and then move it to the right and keep moving the part until you have reached everything that you want to like highlight so you have these parts. I'm just just make the parts that you want uh, in blue or red or any other color. If you're doing like a Department of Transportation or whatnot. So with these parts, they're gonna be at the bottom. So just go to the bottom like of the Explorer, and you're gonna see your parts here. So select one part, and then rename that to anything you want. So I'm just gonna do W1, and then the next part is gonna be called W2. And then it's going to keep on going, so W3, W4, W5, and then finally W6. So once you have all the parts renamed, you want to click on one of the parts, the very end one, and hold shift and then click the first part. And that will highlight all the parts so you have them all selected. So then hold right click on that and then scroll up to your light bar which is right here. So you want to just let go of right click right there. So now your parts are in the light bar tab and your parts should be connected to the car like so. The next thing we want to do under light bar, insert a script. So the script is going to be main that equals script dot parent. Main that is the main vehicle that has a script in it and then the parent would be like the body. 
So then we want to do wait while true do wait zero seconds. And that wait zero seconds is when the value goes true, that's how long you're going to wait before the lights turn on. So after wait, you want to do if main ve dot on dot value equals equals true, then main ve dot your value of your part, so w1 dot transparency is equal to zero. And since we have six parts, you're going to want to do six copy and paste of this line of script. So it's so our first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, and sixth line. So with these, you want to change every W, so W2, W3, W4, W5, W6. So now our values would be true with the script and our parts in the vehicle. So you want to make the parts that you want transparent, and zero means that you can see the part, so it's seeable, and one means you cannot see the part, so it's transparent. So you want to copy and paste this line of script, press enter, then do wait 0 0.1. You can make it 0 0.3, 0 0.4, but I'm going to go with 0 0.1 so it, since it'll look good. And then you want to copy and paste this whole part again. You don't have to change these values. You can stay the same, but you have to change the transparencies to be the opposite. So zeros would be ones, and ones would be zeros. So in this case, one, zero, 1, 0, 1, and 0. You want to press enter again and then do a wait 0 0.1 seconds. Then you're going to do an else, copy and paste this, but you want to make all of the parts transparent. So now that our script is finished, you want to go under the light bar and you want to do a bool value and a number value. So the bool value in this case would be called on because its value could be true or false. So I'm going to click this, make sure there's a check mark in the box, and that means the value is true. You want to make the value, put that to 1. So now that we have all that, if we click run our part should flash. And there you have it, guys. The lights are now flashing back and forth. You could have any pattern, like mine, or back and forth, blue and reds, or fire department, red and white, or orange and white. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, and drop a like if you want to see more of these tutorials. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.